Dale King is a veteran of the 10th Special Forces Group and owner of PSKC CrossFit in Portsmouth, Ohio. When he left the military, King returned to his hometown to find it ravaged by opioid addiction, depression, and poverty. Today, King offers a unique program using fitness and community as ways to help those in recovery find purpose. And joining us now is Dale King to talk a little bit more about his initiatives and the good things that are going on through PSKC CrossFit. Dale, thanks so much for joining me, man. How are you doing today? Oh, dude, uh, just living the dream here in Southern Ohio, brother. Thanks for having me on. For people that may be unfamiliar with your story, can you tell us a little bit about um, PSKC CrossFit, the the overarching mission, and maybe what are some of the big picture goals uh, for you and, and your gym within the community, within Portsmouth, and with uh, Scioto County? We started PSKC CrossFit, and that stands for Portsmouth Spartan Kettlebell Club, way back in the day in, uh, in 2010. Our mission has been to, uh, to train people to be capable and confident and take that confidence from the gym and be able to apply that in their real life and and build a better community in the process. There are so many components that go into, you know, that building process, specifically from CrossFit, whether it's the the mental, the physical, the community aspect. You've worked with a lot of uh, people that are in recovery or working through recovery or starting recovery. Um, Which of those components do you feel like is particularly effective? Uh, in aiding those people is it is it any one of those three or is it maybe a combination of them in the long road we've had since 2010 just working with the normal civilian population adaptive athletes folks in recovery um people need to belong somewhere i think more than anything if what our gym has done right is gave them a welcoming place to cuss, scream, swear, have fun, high five. They don't feel judged. They're only judged really by their effort. And I think that's, it's the connection piece that's really done wonders for us. So is there anything, you know, effort wise or program wise that you guys are doing to help extend that accountability outside of the walls of the affiliate, outside of class time and try and, you know, help people that walk through your gym, you know, even when they walk out of it? We look after our people, man. Um, And, you know, when you're specifically talking about uh, the addiction substance use disorder area, um, the minute you don't see somebody and they start to isolate, that's when things can can go pretty dangerous. Um, And, you know, our folks, they develop their own little networks, their own little communities, and they look after each other. And sometimes no one, a lot of people have never had somebody text them look after him say hey man I haven't seen you in a day or two what's going on Let, let's let's talk let's get coffee night and that's that's what it takes and even behind that there's a little bit of entrepreneurial spirit right like you're you're growing and building this with you know a variety of facets to the gym to the businesses is there any plans for expansion and growth or other things that maybe you guys have on your side as far as initiatives or ways to kind of spread the message big picture for us is we want to work with um affiliate owners all across the country and um, behavioral health centers all across the country. And we want to be able to teach them our model. Uh, You know, I believe if a gym owner's heart's in the right spot, there should be um, a relationship with every CrossFit affiliate and every behavioral health center to offer CrossFit to their clients. So someone who's maybe curious about Um, you know, either trying to work on, you know, their addiction or start their road to recovery or improve their health outcomes, whether it's depression or anything like that. And they happen upon this video. Is there a message that you would have for them if they're maybe just curious about CrossFit or starting their fitness journey to try and aid that? I would say um, start CrossFit. Don't don't give it much thought. Um, Find a gym or, you know, if you're in treatment somewhere, ask your counselor. Um, if there's any way that an opportunity to do CrossFit there, CrossFit is for anyone, but it's not for everyone. But mm-hmm. if it's for that individual, it can totally be life altering to give them that sense of belonging, um, to show them what they're capable of. And, um, you know, more than anything, it's just like addiction can happen from, from trauma. And CrossFit gives you that tool to overcome challenges on a daily basis. Just give it a shot and and see what can happen. 
I, th- I think we all we all know some amazing things can happen once you do give it a shot and walk through those doors and, and you're living proof of that. Uh, Dale, thanks so much for, for joining us today. And uh, and for everyone watching, thank you. And stay tuned for a video uh, featuring Dale and the PSKC CrossFit community coming out soon on CrossFit.com. Dale, thanks again. And uh, always great catching up with you, man. Tommy, man. Thanks. The love of the hair, brother. <laughs>